And just like that, winter is here. And we're supposed to get another 8 inches tonight as well. So yeah, we go from nice weather like last week. It was almost t-shirt weather one day. And now look at this. But I got the bus here on the lawn and out of the way for plowing. And we'll still be able to work on it when we get time. So winter main, here it comes. Ah, welcome back to Life's a Wild Ride. We're just shoveling a path here to the bus. And look what just a few days can do. Tracy's back there shoveling. Uh, yeah, we're hoping to do a couple things on the bus, but I'm not really sure what we're going to get done. Uh, we're actually in the process of accepting applications for my brother's place for rent, so I have a lot of uh, showing set up for that. Uh, you know, as you know, life's a wild ride. We really want to make Monday bus videos, but there's just a lot going on right now. So stick with us, bear with us. Thank you for your patience. We are trying to do some stuff, but I think I'm going to try, try to get on the bus today and take some measurements of the cabinets and go into my dad's shop and work on making some of the doors. Because I don't know about you, but I don't mind the cold, but I don't want to be working in it for a long period of time. So let's get this thing shoveled out. And I'll put a clip in here, right here, actually in a second, of a week ago, and how nice it was. Trace and I out grading the driveway. I'm glad we got it done because I spent the last 40 hours plowing and shoveling. Why it's a wild ride. Trace and I doing some last minute driveway leveling here. So we're ready for winter without any potholes. Oh well, I made it on the bus. Trace is out there finishing up somewhere. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Finishing up some shoveling. Uh, so yeah, if you remember last year, uh, so the bus on the front lawn here again, so we can pile the driveway. Now, last year, the bus was tipped this way and angled towards the rear down. This year, I got it up on the drive, uh, up on the lawn a lot further, so we're only listing <laughs> to one side, but at least the floor is level from front to back. So it'll make it a lot easier to work in here uh, for the winter months. I might move it sometime during the winter too, uh, but last year we didn't. But you can see, it, looks, it is well, probably hard to tell on the camera because I can hold the camera square, but if that's how I held the camera level right there, you can see the bus is angled. Uh, but today, my plan is to uh, measure these openings again. Another thing too, if you remember in the spring, I was working on these. I think I showed it in the video. I was making these and I screwed up like, I don't know, four or five times. And I finally just walked away and they've been sitting on the bench down in dad's shop since spring. The the cutouts and the styles and rails of this, I just got so aggravated. I couldn't believe I made that many mistakes. So there was a lot going on in the spring and uh, I just walked away from it and left it there. So I'm going to go back to it now because it's cold and I'd rather be in the shop working. So I got to take measurements of these so I can make three doors for this side and three doors for this side. And this is the bedroom area here. Uh, but that's um, that's the plan for today. So we'll show you a little bit about that. So yeah, we got the uh, trim. Trim, I don't know where the camera's on the side. Oh, there it is. The trim for up above here. We saw that, you probably saw that in last week's video. So yeah, those are gonna be going here run the whole length but we can't do that until that wall is built and i'm just like i said i don't want to be cold today so we'll get back with you when we get some measurements and in the shop hopefully build some of those doors long story short i do remember now i did figure it out before i finished up in the spring but i did not cut them all down so the size i need it to be will look like this let's see it's back up here a little bit so that's um those measurements i made out in the bus 19 uh, and a half by 11 or whatever. That's what this overall is roughly. So there's our 11, oh, almost 12. And then this one, this way here is the 19 and a half. So, so I did figure it out, made these smaller because they were all this long here. As you can see, here's the longer ones. Now I gotta go and cut all these down. So what I did is I just set up a stop block here this is a, a whole one here before I cut it. And I just put it up against that stop block, take the saw, chop it, 
and then I get my new piece. And all I gotta do now is uh, put new pocket hole screws because obviously I'm cutting off half of them. This is gonna give me the piece that is this size here so I can get all my doors finally the right darn size. So I started doing that. I'm just gonna finish it up with this stack right here. And then I gotta go and uh, drill out the pocket holes. We'll be able to start, uh, well, we won't assemble. I gotta cut the grooves in them first. But, well, I got them all cut down, as you can see here. So all I got to do now is go through and just cut the pocket hole screws in the other side. And uh, then we'll have them all ready. And, of course, I'm going to use the pocket hole jig for that. And I'll put a link for this in the description. I'm telling you, I have used this thing so much. It's been a huge asset to the uh, bus build. And, you know, just use it. You're just going to put it in the side you want to drill. Put it on the back side here and line it up. And then you just clamp the wood in place and you're good to go. Go ahead and run your drill down in there. Whoops, keep getting caught. Open it up and then there you go. You got all your pocket hole screws ready to assemble the next Door. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish all these. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just setting up the uh, router to uh, cut this little rabbit in here to receive um, a panel like this. It'll drop down in, and then on the other side, it'll give us a raised panel look, I guess. So it'll be like this. And then this will be painted, and this will go around the edge. And that will be glued down in. But what I need to do is you don't want to see the cutout of the end like this. If you, when you look at the side of the cabinet, you won't see it on this one. So I was able to go all the way. But this one will actually be like this. You can see the cut doesn't have to go all the way for this. So I got to make a mark here of where I need to cut to on both ends. And then I'll make a mark on the router table so I know where to plunge in, make the cut, and then remove it. So I'm not cutting all the way through the whole thing. So that's what I'm working on now. <coughs> so again, I'm just going to make a, a mark. we got to make the cut out to there. And on the other side, it has to stop. You can see that. It has to stop right here. That way you're not making this cut all the way through. You're just making the cut here. So that'll give you a spot for that panel to recess. It'll might make all sense when it when I get it done. But for now, set this aside. And what I gotta do is carry these marks over to this in a way that I know where to plunge in and where to take it out. So if I put that right there, this is where the board has to start. And then if I were to follow it through, I'm gonna go right to about there. And then this is where it has to stop. So I got these two marks here. So I can just take every board, set it in here, plunge it down in, make the cut, and then bring it back up. Uh, but I don't need to carry these lines over because it's actually to the end of the board now. So I want to make this line on all boards. I just had to make it on the one. So set it in, cut the end, pull it out, and then we'll show you. I'll turn. I'll put the camera on. And let you watch this. It's going to be loud. So let's see what happens. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. So now when I put this up there, like so, we'll be able to drop the panel in all the way around and you won't look at this cutout on the end of the wood. It'll all be a finished corner. So hopefully that makes sense to you. So I just gotta follow that through on all of them. Um, but I gotta do some sanding before I get too carried away. But once I get those done, then we can actually start assembling uh, all of these. But we had a lot of sanding to do first. All right, well, it's actually the next day, but I've just, I got tied up yesterday with my brother's rent. We had a bunch of showings. So I'm just gonna wrap uh, this video up on the doors 
that I'm working on right here. So I did get everything cut and I did get everything all, the new pocket hole screw holes all drilled in. We're good to go. And then I started to set up the router for routing in um, this little rabbit here to accept the panels. Uh, but we're going to wrap that up right here. Thanks for swinging by Life's a Wild Ride. Hopefully we get better videos coming. We're finally getting my brother's rent taken care of. We'll have somebody in there hopefully within a month. Uh, we're taking applications now and showing it. So it's been just busy, busy. We're just so busy right now with so many things going on. Um, unfortunately, I have not been able to put the time on the bus that we want. But we are getting there. A little at a time, we are making progress. I try to squeeze out some time every week to do at least a little something. But uh, hey, have a great day. Thanks for swinging by. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and share the video. We're trying to get to a 1,000 subscribers. We can monetize the channel, which is not a lot, but every little bit helps, and that's going to help us when we're ready to hit the road for a little bit of supplemental income. Have a great day. We'll see you next Monday for a bus video. And remember, life is a wild ride.